Here is how to create cinematic caption right in DaVinci Resolve. I have my video here in the timeline. It's the same clip you just saw. First thing we're gonna do is select our in and out points on this clip. Then we're gonna go up to uh, timeline and we're gonna select AI tools and then create subtitles from audio. We're gonna change this to five for maximum characters. So we try and get individual words here. We're gonna hit create, it's gonna analyze and we're gonna get captions in here. Here is how to create cinematic caption right in DaVinci Resolve. So the Russian accent is effing up the uh, captions there. That's fine. We're just using them for placement of where we want our captions to be. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually drag in text plus for every instance we want one of these words. And I'm not gonna have all of the words. I'm just gonna have some of them. Here is how to create. We're gonna start at cinematic. Now I'm gonna disable these other ones by pressing D. It's cinematic. Gonna get rid of the. Cinematic caption right in DaVinci Resolve. Yep. In the Gonna get Reventure, change that to Da Vinci, just so I can remember that. Perfect. So we're gonna drag in text plus here on each one of these. So let's start with cinema, which should be cinematic. It's fine. We're gonna change it later. Next one's gonna be on captions. And I'm just holding option, clicking, and then dragging on this, which is a super quick way of copying stuff right where you want it. Just like that. I'm gonna Click the end here, and I'm just going to trim all of these. I have a shortcut for that. It's in the mad caption right in the video resolve. Perfect. So I'm going to change the words for each of these just so it's easier to keep track. Cinematic. Captions. Right. In. Vinci. Resolve. Cool. Now I'm gonna turn off all of the subtitles here. When we go back. Cinema the caption right in the Vinci Resolve. So they're all stacking on top of each other. We want to move those around, but we're gonna do that while we're, you know, changing how these look at the same time. So I have the color saved here. We're just gonna use red for all of these. I'm gonna change this to red. And down here, we're going to turn on the transform. It makes it a little easier so we can change where we're going to put our font. And I'm going to change this first one to Chango. Now, the fonts that I'm using here, I downloaded from Google Fonts. They're all free. You can go to googlefonts.com, search them, exactly the same ones here, and you know, they'll be free downloads. So you can get a variety of different cool cinematic looking fonts. Awesome. So we're going to change this size. We're going to increase that size quite a bit. Love it. I'm actually going to change this as well. Now I can unlink the transform here and I can change how I want this to appear. I can change the tracking a bit so it's a little tighter. I can make the size bigger, which I think I'm actually going to do here. I want to make this giant. Let's make it even bigger than that. Now we're talking. Let's make it a little smaller. Cool. That's what we're looking for. Let's go back to settings and we're going to decrease the height just a little bit so it's not too far off. Awesome. Cool. Then we're going to change the captions here. Now, let's drag this over. I want this to be a cursive. I decided to use brush here. Brush script. That's not it. Yep, that's the one. We're going to pick the exact same red font color that we used before. We're going to select OK. We're going to increase the size a bit. We're going to have that right there like that. Next one we want right. I'm going to have right kind of over here. And we're just going to change that to uh, Rubik Spray is the one. No, we're going to do Aileron. It's one of my favorite fonts here. We're gonna change that to ultralight thin italic right. Yeah, that's the one. Change it to red. We're gonna increase the size a bit. Let's have that, I don't know, somewhere like right there. Might even go bigger on this too. We'll make this guy bigger too. There we go. Nice, I like it. All right, next one. We're gonna go to in, I'm gonna change this to Rubik's Spray is the one that I decided to use here. Also, all free. Let's change it to 
red. Hit OK. We're going to increase the size. And I'm going to move this over here to the side. Yeah. Now we're talking. You chew it. And then for Da Vinci, we're going to change this to Sigmar. Now one of the big things we're doing when we're doing captions here, we want to make them look cinematic, kind of this look that you know is spread across YouTube. We want to get a variety of different kinds of font, different you know setups, whether it's italics or it's bold or it's black. This is what's going to give us you know a really unique kind of feel here. Let's bring this over here. We're going to increase the size on this guy quite a bit more than that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Nice and big. And then for resolve, we're gonna bring this down here and we're gonna change this to linotype. Yeah, now we're talking. Like so. Maybe we'll decrease Da Vinci just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. And then resolve. We're gonna increase the size here. Nice. I'm going to change the color to that red as well. Now, here's the fun part where we start getting these to look really cool. We're going to go in, we're going to select our first one, which is the cinematic, and we're going to change this dramatically by changing the composite. This is the secret sauce to changing all of these. So we're going to change this to color. Now when we change that, it kind of looks like it's changing the opacity ever so slightly, but it's going to change how each appears on different colors and dependent on what the original starting font color is. So experiment with different colors here and you're going to get some really cool results. So we're going to select that. And then next what we're going to do is we're going to actually add a drop shadow on here. If we go to open effects and we drag this just right on text plus. Now this is why you want to make sure you're using text plus and you're not using regular text because you can't add these open effects if you're using just regular text. Text plus is the move. So now we're gonna change the color to that red. And that's gonna give us a glow as opposed to a shadow. So the drop distance we're gonna decrease and we're gonna increase the shadow strength. And we're gonna increase the blur. And now we get kind of that neon sun glow, which is super cool. Alright, next we are gonna to go to our captions. We're gonna change this one to add in our composite. Now, add is going to bring a little brighter. We could do a bunch of different ones. I mean, we could change these. You can see if you go through here, you cycle through, and they just change them. Ooh, difference is super cool. But let's do it with add. And just play around, guys, because you're going to get some really cool results if you just see what you can get. Now, with right, we're going to do exclusion on this one. Now I have a lot of these written down because I went through and experimented to get some really cool looks of what I really wanted to get, how I wanted these to look. So, do the same and you'll get some as cool, cooler if you just play around a little bit. Highly recommend it. Alright, next we're going to go in and we're going to change in the composite to color. Nice. So you'll see it kind of adds some uh, transparency there, the opacity kind of changes, but it also changes how the color reacts upon different surfaces. So you'll see here it changes, it almost changes the opacity, but it gets a little brighter down over here, which is kind of cool. Next, what we're going to add here is a radial blur. Now I like adding this to font quite a bit because what it does is it actually gives kind of like a lens uh, sort of just vintage look to it. It's pretty dope. Might decrease it a bit so it's not too illegible but a little bit of softening really adds to the font. All right, next to DaVinci, what we're gonna do is add our composite here, and we're gonna change this to difference. And we're also gonna add a drop shadow here to add that glow, because I want that to pop. Now we decrease the distance, we change the color to that red again. Yeah. Increase the strength, maybe a little less. Increase the blur. Yeah, now it's really popping out. Awesome. Now if we go to the end, we got resolve here. Now we're gonna change this one to difference as well. Not sure why it's all janky over there on the side. Awesome. Now the last thing I want to do with resolve here, I'm actually gonna duplicate it by holding option, clicking and dragging it up. 
looks like it disappeared there, but if we go and we adjust it ever so slightly, ooh, pretty cool result, huh? Drop that down just a touch. And we kind of get an outline. You can also go in here and go to title and you can go to transform to shading and you can actually add that yourself. That actually is pretty cool. But I kind of like doing it this way sometimes because you get a little bit more control over how the outline is appearing. And then we can just add our finishing touches here. So I actually duplicated my clip, added a second layer so that I can have the text behind it. If you want to see how to do that to where you can add text and mask things using Magic Mask, I created a video, should be linked right here. So you can do that, the video is about two minutes long. You're gonna love it, super quick. Then next what I have to do is drag the last text right above that last layer because I want it to be on top. So then when we play it back, here is how to create cinematic caption right in DaVinci Resolve. And that's it. So I got it for you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.